Welcome back viewers, I'm Kristen. And I'm Hannah. Today we're taking a deep dive into the oldest town in the state of West Virginia, Shepherdstown. If you're curious to know what Shepherdstown is all about, we're going to uncover the layers of the Shepherdstown experience. The town was a pinnacle of change and industrial growth throughout many stages of early American history. Today, Shepherdstown is defined by its proximity to the Potomac River, Shepherd University, and also a growing economic quarter in the historic downtown. Throughout the year, the town comes alive as people flood the streets for farmers markets, craft bazaars, and Easter egg hunts and Christmas parades. Traveling through historic Shepherdstown feels like a trip back in time, except you get to bring all your favorite modern conveniences with you. Yeah. Sit back and we'll take you there. Let's start with the town's strategic position. It's an ideal blend of rural charm and a college town while major cities are still within reach. Right, you can reach Interstate 81 within about 11 miles, while Route 7 is about 26 miles away. Shepherdstown is 73 miles from Washington, D.C. and about 75 miles from Baltimore. The perfect distance for a day trip to the Baltimore Aquarium or Washington Mall. And for those commuting or exploring, the Duffield's Mark train is a convenient option, though you need to be an early riser to catch that first train. Mm -hmm. Not me. <laughs> now let's delve into one of the hottest topics for most people, weather. Shepherdstown experiences a full range of seasons, from warm summers to snowy winters. The temperature ranges between 25 to 87 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year. From May to September, you can expect an average temperature of 78 degrees Fahrenheit or above. Summers here are warm, often climbing into the upper 80s. The town comes alive with outdoor activities, from hiking along the Potomac to enjoying the local festivals. It can get humid here, though. So prepare for some muggy days, especially in July, or strategically plan a vacation north during that time. Sounds good to me. Yeah. In terms of snow, based on past data, you're most likely to get snow in February, which historically has gotten an average of 7.2 inches of snow. You can expect a break from snowfall for at least seven and a half months. Yeah, the seasons are known to hop back and forth a little here, so you may get snow as late as the end of March at times. If you're planning to garden or grow your own food, know that growing seasons last between mid-March to late October. If you found our video helpful and want to keep up with more content like this, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps us out. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on all our latest videos and explorations. If the weather in Shepherdstown hasn't scared you off, you might be ready to hear some home price data. The market in Shepherdstown offers something for every taste and budget. Average home prices sit around the 529,000 mark, but there's a wide range from modest townhomes to sprawling properties with acreage. For those looking for a blend of affordability and convenience, townhome prices average just under 465,000. However, there are fewer of those available. And for those seeking more space, single family homes average a little under 515,000. If you're dreaming of a home with a bit of land, there are properties available that offer the best of both worlds. Country living with city amenities just a short drive away. Homes with two or more acres average a bit under 700,000. And then for buyers looking to build a new home, there are options that range from large builders to custom projects. If you're watching this video past 2024, reach out to us for a more current list of new construction options as these can be a little difficult to parse out online. We currently have a few options for villa style homes ranging from smaller homes in the five and 600,000 range on Low Drive up to more custom builds further from town on Bill Meyer Drive in the 600,000 and up range. In general, homes don't come up as often for sale here. People tend to buy and stay. Mm -hmm. The average days on a market is 41 days for resale properties. Um, but some of the homes move a lot faster, so it's important to go out and see a home if you like it. When exploring a new area, most people want to know their nearby shopping and dining options before committing. Shepherdstown might not be a retail giant, but it has its distinct charms. For your everyday needs, there's a food line, and for those looking for local sustainable options, check out the community garden market. There's Martin, Aldi, and other major grocery stores within a 20 to 30 minute drive of Shepherdstown. Getting to Costco or Target will take about 45 minutes or more, Bulk shoppers be warned. Mm -hmm. Dining out in Shepherdstown is a treat. Start your day with a homestyle breakfast at Betty's Restaurant. Next, head to nature-centric Blue Moon Cafe for lunch and enjoy the sounds of the town run streaming through the center of the outdoor patio. For those of you wondering what a town run is, it's a waterway that runs under and through the town. This one is fed by dozens of natural springs. For a fancy dinner, end your day at the Bavarian Inn with stunning views of the Potomac River. You can even book an overnight stay here and explore the area more. 
If you're ready to plan a visit to the area, reach out to us for our guide to exploring Shepherdstown. We've got recommendations for shopping, dining, and recreation to give you a real taste of what the area is like. We won't dive too far into schools here, but know that Shepherdstown is part of the Jefferson County school system. It offers a range of educational options, including public, private, and a charter school. While our hands are tied to make specific recommendations, we can provide a list of sources to help you research the surrounding schools. Absolutely. Lastly, one of the biggest hurdles these days is finding the best internet options for rural properties. Connectivity is a must in today's world and Shepherdstown is working to keep up. Broadband options can be limited in many areas. However, satellite internet, specifically Starlink, is becoming increasingly popular here. My parents were thrilled to recently find out that they qualified after years of waiting. We can help you research other options. If you find a home that you're interested in, we have a list of local internet providers to check with. Shepherdstown is a town where past and present coexist harmoniously, offering a unique lifestyle to its residents. Whether you're considering a visit or a move, the town has a lot to offer. If this video was helpful, your next step is to watch the pros and cons of Charlestown so that you can compare another popular Jefferson County location. We'd love to hear from you. If you've lived in or visited Shepherdstown, share your experiences in the comments. Your insights could be invaluable to others exploring this wonderful town. See you next time.